Mary Munition Factory near Adelaide, built during the war at a cost of £7 million, is being remodelled as the base establishment of Australia's long-range weapon range. The Salisbury base is not yet completed, but already technical instruments are being installed. This is a Kinney Theodolite, one of many instruments to be used search and for measuring performance of rockets. A German V-2 rocket, revolutionary a few years ago, is now almost a museum piece. Scientists from Britain and Australia will carry out research into enemy weapons still being developed when the war ended. Among them a guided flying bomb and a rocket which can be exploded from the ground. Security is the watchword of Salisbury. Press and newsreel men, carefully vetted before being accepted for the range tour, are again checked as they take off in the only British Viking in Australia to fly to Woomera, the range head itself. The range is a prohibited area. There's not much to see below but desert. But approaching Woomera, security officers make sure even accredited newsreel and newspaper men can't see what's going on below. The Empire's most secret defence project is safe from prying eyes. It costs thousands of pounds to make and fire an experimental projectile. Woomera will provide instruments to ensure scientists get maximum information from each firing. Machines are carving from the desert three magnificent airstrips, one two and a half miles long and two two miles long. And all strips are being made from the desert itself. Into this machine go desert gibbers. Nature provides the stones, men grind them into gravel to make a perfect airstrip base. Tarring is mechanical too. This would be a long job by the pick and shovel method. Then hundreds of tons of gravel made on the spot are poured over the hot tar. In addition to the three strips, hangars will be built and facilities provided for experimental work and aircraft servicing. But the sky is not yet thick with planes. Only a security aircraft on patrol flies overhead. Australia's weapon range is a plan for the future, which men like Lieutenant General Everts left and Brigadier Edgar are helping to put into operation. In the initial stages, water for the range is being pumped from Lake Richardson. Main supply will eventually be obtained by pipeline from Port Augusta. This is only the beginning of a gigantic project. Australia is playing a major part in international defence.